Hi, it's great to see you today. It's um, Monday the 20th of July, uh, beginning of the school holidays. Wow, fantastic. For those of you who got kids, I hope you have a great time. Um, wonder if anyone's going away and doing anything great, which would be fantastic. Uh, so trust you all have great summer holidays this year. I know things might be a little bit different to uh, what people had intended. And, um, but uh, trust you'll have a blessed time away and you'll be refreshed. Uh, <clears throat> and remember when we're on holiday, it's great as well, not just to be refreshed from, from a work situation, but to be refreshed in the things of God, in the things of the Spirit. Uh, today we're in Jude, uh, Jude the Dude. Um, again, uh, so I, on Saturday I did say I was gonna do verses 18 and 19, but in the end I just hit on uh, verse 18. So I'm gonna come to verse 19 today. Uh, so again, they get this little section, it says it's a call to remain faithful. And Jude has been talking about these false teachers in the church, and he's, he's still kind of going on about them without, without turning, he's, he's starting to begin to turn, the, to turn the, the tide to speak to those who are the believers in the churches. And remember, this is written to ch Christians in the churches in um, Syria and in Egypt. And he says, these people are the ones who create divisions among you. They follow their natural instincts because they do not have God's spirit in them. So these people, these people, these are the ones who are these false teachers who've got, who Jude has been speaking about. Jude, remember, is a half-brother of Jesus, a full brother of James, the author of the book James. These people, uh, who in his previous verse said they are, <clears throat> they will be scoffers and they will satisfy their own ungodly desires. <clears throat> These people are the ones who create divisions among you. <clears throat> so if someone's creating divisions among you, among the body of Christ, if someone is creating divisions among you, think about it. Is that right? Jesus said, I, I, no, I, I, I pray that they will be one as we are one. That unity is something that is it's really important. He also said that, uh, <clears throat> that uh, unity is that they might be unified, that the, that the oil of, they may flow down Aaron's beard and it will be, it will be unity. And also they will know that you, that you are my disciples by the fact that they love one another, that unity that we have. So we have people coming in causing um, divisions among you. What does that say? Is that operating according to what scripture says? Well, the answer is quite clearly no, it's not. So when people coming in causing divisions, be very careful. Be careful ar around them. Because here's what it says. These are the ones who create divisions among you, causing brother and sister to fall out with one another, calling them to not to talk to one another again. They follow their natural instincts. Why? Because they do not have God's spirit in them. Ouch. Ouch. So he's saying they follow their natural instincts because they do not have God's spirit in them. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> in life, I know when situations happen, things happen and stuff rises up within us. Sometimes stuff that's not good rises up within us and stuff comes out of our mouth and actually that's not always good because that natural stuff kind of just rises up. And I've got God's spirit within me and sometimes stuff comes out of my mouth. It's actually, it's not terribly clever. That's not terribly helpful. That's not encouraging. That's not loving. That's not kind. That's actually destructive. But I have the Holy Spirit within me. And there's this kind of battle within me. Uh, I want to be, you know, I want to do what Jesus wants me to do. But sometimes it just kind of uh, comes out. Yes, I know I'm a new creation. Uh, but it's part of my process of me working through these things. And I want the Holy Spirit, I, I ask the Holy Spirit to help me in my life to become more like Jesus so that I can deal with these things. These people, however, <clears throat> they just follow their own natural instincts. I think in the New American Standard it says this. These are the ones who cause divisions. Worldly minded, devoid of the Spirit. And the word there for worldly minded is, is, is psychikos, psychikos. Worldly minded. That's what they are and devoid, devoid of the Spirit. Not the Holy Spirit's not in them. Wow, that's kind of really strong stuff. So, watch out. 
watch out for those who cause divisions. If people cause divisions, <coughs> excuse me, then there's something not right. There's something not good going on. Instead, be a peacemaker. This is what Jesus said. Blessed are the peacemakers. Be someone who says, listen, challenge that behavior. Listen, say, don't speak that. Don't say that. Listen, speak love, speak wholeness, speak um, unity. Say, look, if you have an issue, if you have an issue with something, someone, go and deal with it. Don't rage on, rant on about it. Go and deal with it so that you would, uh, so it wouldn't cause destruction. Because the problem is, it's like juicy morsels of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, grumblingness and uh, murmuring and things. It's, it, it's, it's tasty and, and, and it's, it's like yeast, it can come and it can infect the whole things. But Jesus doesn't want us to be like that, to, to actually to cut that off, to deal with that and to and challenge that behaviour so that we would be united. Because God is coming back for a beautiful bride, a spotless bride that the church will be united, following Jesus wholly, wholeheartedly and fully, serving him with everything that is within us. Don't be like these people who Jesus is talking about here, who create divisions, who follow their own nat natural instincts, who are grumblers, who live in immoral lives, who do all these kind of things. Don't be like them, but instead follow Jesus. And then tomorrow we're looking at verse 20, He's, he's giving them suggestions about what they should do, about how they should go on, how they should act. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to that one tomorrow. Just pray you'll be blessed. Have a great day today. Have a good week. And I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. In Jesus' name. Amen.